in the previous lecture we discussed the weak version of mathematical induction in this lecture we will discuss some problems and the strong version of mathematical induction we can discuss an example conjecture a formula for the sum of first n odd positive integers and then use induction to establish the conjecture first n odd positive integers in the sum kaananulla or formula namaku conjecture cheyanam allengil uvikana adayathu 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus etc first n odd numbers in the odd positive integers in the sum kaananulla or formula namaku conjecture cheyanam then adu mathematical induction ubayichittu prove cheyanam appo anganulla oru aadyathe anju സമ്മ നമുക്ക് ആദ്യം കൺസിഡർ ചെയ്ത് നോക്കാം എന്നിട്ട് നമുക്കൊരു ഒരു കോമൺ ഫോമുലയിലേക്ക് എത്താൻ പറ്റുമെന്ന് നോക്കാം സോ ഫസ്റ്റ് സമ്മ എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ഫസ്റ്റ് നമ്പർ വണ് മാത്രമാണ് സോ വൺ ഈക്വൽ ടു വൺ സ്ക്വയർ ആണ് ദെൻ ഫസ്റ്റ് ടു ഓഡ് നമ്പേഴ്സ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് വൺ പ്ലസ് ത്രീ വി നോ വൺ പ്ലസ് ത്രീ ഈക്വൽ ടു ഫോർ ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ക്യാൻ ബി റിട്ടൺ ആസ് ടു സ്ക്വയർ നോ നെക്സ്റ്റ് ഫസ്റ്റ് ത്രീ ടേംസ് ഫസ്റ്റ് ത്രീ ഓഡ് ഇൻഡിജേഴ്സ് ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് വൺ പ്ലസ് ത്രീ പ്ലസ് ഫൈവ് and it is 9 so it can be written as 3 square and then first four terms that is 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 and it is 16 it can be written as 4 square then the sum of first five odd integers that is 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 and it is uh, 25 it can be written as 5 square so from this we will get a pattern of uh, first n odd numbers or first n four positive integers that is 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus etc plus 2n minus 1 whole square this is the uh, uh, nth term or nth odd positive integer okay so first one uh, positive integer in the sum we have one square in the two term we have two square then മൂന്ന് ടേംസ് ആണ് വരുന്നതെങ്കിൽ ത്രീ സ്ക്വയർ നാല് ടേം ആണെങ്കിൽ ഫോർ സ്ക്വയർ എക്സെട്രാ അഞ്ച് ടേം ആണെങ്കിൽ ഫൈവ് സ്ക്വയർ സോ ഇവിടെ എൻ ടേംസ് ആണ് സോ ഇറ്റ് ക്യാൻ ബി ഇറ്റ് ആസ് എൻ സ്ക്വയർ ഓക്കെ സോ ഇതാണ് നമ്മുടെ ഫോമുല സോ അവർ ഫോമുല ക്യാൻ ബി റിട്ടൺ ആസ് സമ്മേഷൻ ഐ ഫ്രം വൺ ടു എൻ ടു ഐ മൈനസ് വൺ ഈക്വൽ ടു എൻ സ്ക്വയർ ഇവിടെ ഐ ഈക്വൽ വൺ കൊടുത്തു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ടു ഇൻറ്റു വൺ മൈനസ് വൺ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് വൺ ദെൻ വെൻ ഐ ഈക്വൽ ടു ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ടു ഇൻറ്റു ടു മൈനസ് വൺ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഫോർ മൈനസ് വൺ ഇസ് ത്രീ വെൻ ഐ ഈക്വൽ ടു ത്രീ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് സിക്സ് മൈനസ് വൺ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് ഫൈവ് പ്ലസ് എക്സ്ട്രാ പ്ലസ് വെൻ ഐ ഈക്വൽ ടു എൻ ദാറ്റ് ഈസ് എൻത്ത് ടേം ടു എൻ മൈനസ് വൺ സോ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു എൻ സ്ക്വയർ സോ ദിസ് ഈസ് അവർ ഫോമുല നൗ വി ഹാവ് ടു പ്രൂവ് ദിസ് ഫോമുല ബൈ യൂസിങ് മാത്തമാറ്റിക്കൽ ഇൻഡക്ഷൻ വി നോ മാത്തമാറ്റിക്കൽ ഇൻഡക്ഷൻ കണ്ടെയ്ൻസ് ടു സ്റ്റെപ്സ് ഫസ്റ്റ് വൺ ഇസ് ബേസിക് സ്റ്റെപ് and that is verify that p of n not is true the second step is induction step uh, that is assume that pk is true for any arbitrary integer k greater than or equal to this n not then verify that p of k plus 1 is also true so here we have to prove this statement so when n equal to 1 first when n equal to 1 we have summation i from 1 to n 2i minus 1 is equal to summation i from 1 to 1 2i minus 1 that is we are using uh, only one value for i that is 1 so 2 into 1 minus 1 that is 1 it can be written as 1 square so it is true so the, uh, the statement is true for n is equal to 1 then now assume that the formula holds for n is equal to k that is we have summation i from 1 to k is 2i minus 1 is equal to k square we are assuming that this is true that is the formula true for n equal to k now to apply the mathematical induction we have to prove that the formula is true for n is equal to k plus 1 also then uh, we can say that it is true for any natural number that is for any n greater than or equal to 1 so uh, we have to consider this sum uh, summation i from 1 to k plus 1 to i minus 1 so we have to prove that it is true for n equal to k plus 1 that is we have to uh prove that summation i from 1 to k plus 1 to i minus 1 is equal to k plus 1 whole square we need to uh, prove that now summation i from 1 to k plus 1 to i minus 1 is nothing but summation i from 1 to k to i minus 1 plus for kth term this is actually 
uh, i from 1 to k plus 1 so we are splitting this uh, uh, 1 to k plus 1 to 1 to k plus 4 k plus 1 so this is summation i from 1 to k to a minus 1 plus for i equal to k plus 1 we have 2 into k plus 1 minus 1 this is 2 into k plus 1 minus 1 now we we uh, assumed that summation i from 1 to k to a minus 1 is k square so this can be written as k square plus 2k plus 1 minus 1 that is 2k plus 2 minus 1 is that is 2k plus 1 so this is nothing but k square plus 2k plus 1 this is k plus 1 whole square so we obtain that summation i from 1 to k plus 1 to a minus 1 is equal to k plus 1 whole square so we obtained that the result is true for n is equal to k plus 1 if it is true for n is equal to k k n equal to k ka true on angle number and the proof you do n equal to k plus 1 and true on the proof you so by mathematical induction the formula holds for every positive integer n so uh, we proved this result next important little note on both the basis and induction steps are essential in the induction proof Induction proof is basis step and induction step is essential. We have to prove the basis step and the P of n is true. Induction step is P of k is true and assume then P of k plus 1 is true and prove. If we have to prove the first step, we have to prove the statement is true. The basis step and induction step is essential. For example, Consider this formula 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus etc. 2 n minus 1 is equal to n minus 2 whole square. Now we will prove that 1 plus 2 3 plus 5 plus etc. 2 n minus 1 is equal to n square. Now this formula is true. Now we will show you. n equal to 1 plus 3 plus 2 5 plus etc. 2 into 1 minus 1 that is 1 itself. So 1. Okay. So 1 is equal to this n 1 over the left hand side and there is 1 9 equal to uh, 1 very much 2 into 1 minus 1 is 1 so first term only okay so 1 is equal to right hand side and the value 1 minus 2 whole square that is minus 1 whole square is 1 so it is true one for n equal to 1 and this statement is true one pakshe this statement is true all for all n it is true all for example n equal to 2 or 3 it is true all n equal to 2 or 3 1 plus 3 and 1 plus 3 equal to 4 and pakshe 4 number 2 square and then the other than the 2 minus 2 whole square and the other than 2 minus 2 whole square is 0 so this is not equal to 0 square okay so n equal to 2 in the uh, true allah that means basis step true on the other uh, formula true on the parameter in this example basis step true on the other p of 1 uh, uh, hold j in the pashe uh, e statement true allah okay so the truth of basis step does not ensure that the statement is true for every n. Okay. So that is why induction proof is basis step and induction step is important. If we do not know the statement, we do not the statement. Okay. That is why the validity of the induction step is necessary but not sufficient. Okay. The induction step is sufficient. That is necessary to guarantee that P of n is true for all desired integers. That means, in the example, the basis step is true for all desired integers. Now, the induction step is necessary but not sufficient to guarantee that P of n is true for all desired integers. That is sufficient. The induction step is sufficient to guarantee that P of n is true for all induction step maathram satisfy chayinna or formula yaanengil a formula true anandu paraya ambat illa clear the necessary anandu paraya ambat a formula true anandu induction step um hold day formula true anandu 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 p of n nal la formula true anandu then induction step hold day but induction step hold day jayadu anandu maathram anandu avula p of n true anandu paraya ambat illa ok adha necessary and sufficient namla vithyasa clear Induction step is sufficient to be true, but P of n is true, but it is not sufficient. That means, induction step is not sufficient to be true, but it is not sufficient. That means, induction step is true, but it is not true, but P of n is true. Clear. But, the induction step is necessary. That means, if a statement is true, if it is true, 
then induction step hold it. That is P of k true one assume jay that P k. P of k plus one on that came true I. Okay. Other example would have uh, Consider this formula. P of n is 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus etc. 2n minus 1 equal to 2n minus 1 is equal to n square plus 1. Okay. Apo, E is a formula to the P of n and the left formula the 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 2n minus 1 equal to n square plus 1. Apo, this is uh, induction step true on. A link hold chain. Other P of k true on the ups assume j the nyal. P of k true on the assume j the nyal. We obtain that we can obtain P of k plus 1 is also true. That is the induction step. That is true. We can verify it. Suppose that P of k is true. P of k is true on the assume j the nyal. Summation i from 1 to k. This is actually summation i from 1 to n to i minus 1 is equal to n square plus 1. Idana. So, P of k true on the original summation i from 1 to k to i minus 1 is equal to k square minus 1. This is true on angle. Uh, for k plus 1, I have P of k plus 1 true on the check. Either. So, uh, P of k plus 1 true on the name the one. Summation i from 1 to k plus 1 to i minus 1 another k plus 1 whole square plus 1 i am adi. so summation i from 1 to k to i minus this is the k variable and that is k plus 1 separate and split it. so i from 1 to k to i minus 1 plus for k plus 1 it is 2k plus 1 minus 1 now this is assume that this is equal to k square plus 1 so this is k square plus 1 plus 2k plus 2 minus 1 is 2k plus 1 so this is nothing but k square plus 1 plus 2k plus 1 that is k square plus 2k plus 1 plus 1 so this is nothing but k plus 1 whole square plus 1 so this is true okay that is this is true if pk is true p of k is true then p of k plus 1 is also true so if p, k, p of k is true then p of k plus 1 is also true so the induction step is true that means therefore induction step holds but uh, the formula uh, uh, is not true for any n. For any integer, it is not true. For example, uh, p of 1 is not true because p of 1 means 1 plus 3 plus etc. 2 into 1 minus 1 is this is 1, that is 1. p of 1 means 1 is equal to 1 is equal to 1 square plus 1. 1 square plus 1 is 2. 1 square plus 1 is 2. So, 1 equal to 2. So, this is not true. So, p of 1 is wrong. So, e example uh, verify Induction step true on angle polu uh, formula and the equal true on the number of verifies the induction step true on the tip uh, basis step alingle first uh, n equal to one and a formula true all number of verifies it. Okay, so as in one night like iron than shinala induction proof of basis step from induction step from uh, essential on a nurbandaman. Matrala induction step on the necessary on but not sufficient. Next uh, strong version of induction. Or the second uh, principle of mathematical induction. Let P of n be a statement satisfying the following conditions where n belongs to Z. First condition is P of n0 is true for some integer n0. P of n0 is true for some integer n0. Second condition is if k is an arbitrary integer greater than or equal to n0, such that P of n0, P of n0 plus 1, etc., and P of k are true. <coughs> Then P of K plus 1 is also true. K and the N0 and the model or number on angle such that P of N0 and P of N0 plus 1, etc. P of K are true. Then P of K plus 1 is also true. Okay. Then P of N is true for every integer N greater than or equal to N0. This is the strongest version or version of uh, induction. Uh, that is the second principle of mathematical induction. To prove this, uh, let S equal to the set S is equal to set of all n belongs to Z such that P of n is true. P of n is true on the L and in the collection on S and suppose here. Then P of n0 is true by condition 1. Okay. By condition 1, we have P of n0 is true. So P of n0 is true on the n evident down n belongs to S because S is equal to collection of n such that P of n is true. So n0 belongs to S. Now assume that P of n0 P of n0 plus 1, etc. P of k are true for arbitrary and arbitrary integer k. Okay. So, P of n0 and P of n0 plus 1, etc. P of k true on assume j. Angan angle, we are going to say n0 and n0 plus 1, etc. k. 
belongs to S by uh, the definition of S. S defines the lung and N0 to N0 plus 1 etc. K on the uh, K where E S cylinder. So by condition 2, by condition 2 on the other P of N0 to P of N0 plus 1 etc. P of K true one angle, P of K plus 1 true one. Angle. So by condition 2, we can do P of K plus 1 true one angle, K plus 1 and down. S and down. Clear. So we can do N0, N0 plus 1, etc. Uh, K belongs to S and angle. K plus 1 belongs to S. Clear. Therefore, by theorem 1.5, S contains all integers n greater than or equal to n0. One point theorem 1.5 for another n0 and not be a fixed integer. Let S be a set of integers satisfying the following conditions. n0 belongs to S. If k is an arbitrary integer greater than or equal to n0, such that k belongs to S, then k plus 1 belongs to S. Right? Uh, then S contains all integers n greater than or equal to n0. That is, n0 belongs to S. Then uh, k belongs to S. K plus 1 belongs to S. These two conditions satisfy. S contains all integers n greater than or equal to n0. So, if we have the n0 belongs to S, that is the k belongs to S, k plus 1 belongs to S. Then we can say that uh, S contains all integers n greater than or equal to n0. That means S will contain p of n true 1. S will set of all n belongs to S, z such that p of n is true. So, we can say that uh, p of n is true for every integer n greater than or equal to n0. E n0 in the session, n uh, s in the varanya, p of n is true for all integer n greater than or equal to n0. Okay, so that is the strong version of uh, uh, induction.